And Lord, we greet all the nations in Asia and, and all my friends in Philippines, Cambodia, Vietnam. We get many friend requests from Philippines since the journey. Amen. And uh, that's great. So as soon as I see you from the Philippines, I just approve you right away. So amen. So God's doing amen. great things. Uh, we had a great move of God last week that we mentioned here, but then we ministered about the trip of uh, Lord's help with the slides. <clears throat> but I share with you on Friday, there's a powerful move of angels. I have a lot of angels in our ministry, the regular thing. But but last week, as I was ministering, uh, after the slide uh, presentation, they come around my right side, but there's a smoothness about them different than other times. And as you know, we've seen over 12,000 miracles worldwide are brought to you by my sponsor, Jesus Christ. But then, then um, uh, later, uh, 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 when I got ready to step down and get it over to Pastor uh, Josh, uh, like one of the angels actually attached to my back. It wasn't like a weight, but just hold on there. And uh, in fact, some of you mentioned later, I think you saw or felt the angels when I walked back. Mm -hmm. and, but there's a smoothness about it. It, it, was a, it was a different level. And we went up to pray for people, uh, deep supernatural praise at the end of service. Pastor had us line up there and pray. Uh, the, the first few people, uh, one lady had to hand raise her arm. She had all kinds of things wrong. Prayed, or maybe her arms were in the air. Another man had probably his hands and stuff. Immediately he was healed. But there, there was a flow in the spirit as we laid hands on them. Mm -hmm. uh, though I've seen all these thousands of miracles, there was a different level. It was a, there's an increase. There's an increase. Mm -hmm. In Isaiah tells us in chapter 6, uh, the increase of his government and peace, there should be no end. Mm -hmm. Everything should be increasing. Mm -hmm. I should have more of the Lord and know him better and, and more about him today than I knew last week. Yes. So we appreciate all the help while we're gone and uh, all the ministry in here. Because it don't stop when we leave. Uh, if it's built on me, we have a problem. It's built on Jesus Christ. Amen. If it's a solid rock. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So today I'm going to uh, minister on effective prayers. Now, a lot of people use the term pray. I mean, everybody and their uncle has a term, but well, we're going to pray. You know, you tell someone, I have a certain need, that I'll pray for you. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't want uh, up your bubble, but the chance you're going to really pray for you is slim to none. Okay? Mm -hmm. and, they, and they do say a few words, they're probably very weak. Mm -hmm. So today we'll find out what makes a prayer effective. Uh, what, why do some people spend their whole life praying for the sick and no one gets healed and others pray for the sick and thousands get healed? Uh, you know, it's his will to heal. And so there's a connection there that we, we need to talk about today. So let's go to James chapter 5. <clears throat> I tell the people all ago, I'm so happy. I bought this shirt, I don't know how many years ago, and it is a miss size. And I couldn't wear it. Uh -huh. Now I can wear it. Look at I can wear it. <laughs> Oh, oh, in a few weeks it'd be too loose on. but uh, I was so happy I said look at the size of this thing will be like a 10 on me because I have some of that size I've been wearing around the house I mean they're like this and, and uh, I put it on I was so happy and I don't know how to be when I sit down I'm like a mushroom when I sit down <laughs> but, but anyway James chapter 5 and uh, okay. don't, don't worry, we laugh a lot in here, we smile a lot, and God does mighty things. Amen. And my Jesus, I picture him smiling, uh, healing people, enjoying it, happy, sending the children on his knee and loving them, and smiling. Yes. That's my Jesus. Amen. Now walk around, look like he's baptized in vinegar. Amen. Okay. Amen. And uh, some Christians walk in with a big long face, you, you want what I have? No, thank you. I, I'll pass. I'm good. <laughs> Amen. So James chapter 5, <clears throat> begin verse 13. Is any among is, what would you like? Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing songs. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call the elders of the church. Let them pray over him, anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith would say to the sick, the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sin, he will be forgiven. Confess your trespasses to one another and pray to, for one another that you may be healed. And notice mm -hmm. the next part here. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. We'll go back and revisit that in a moment. 
Verse 17, Elijah was a man with a nature like ours. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain. And it did not rain on the land for three years and six months. Mm -hmm. And he prayed again that heaven gave rain. And the earth uh, produces fruit. And we're going to go back uh, to the last part of CC in a moment. But I put a little note from our trip to Philippines. We were uh, one of the, up in the mountains. We had inside meetings in a, a building. And then we were outside in open air. We had please that looked like soldiers. M 16s grenades. I mean, I loved them. They, they, every, about every one of them came in later asked for a prayer in the meeting. Because if we staying outside, they heard the message. But but uh, one time, Pastor Jojo, I got up to minister, and I'm allergic to smoke and dust. It really bothers me. And, and suddenly, they're, they're burning smoke. They burn things that are smoking. They do that to get rid of mosquitoes. And, and they're burning at a house a little ways from us, and the smoke is going right on us. And I started trying to measure. I kept <clears throat> choking up real bad. And then finally, I said, well, you know, we have power over this. I command the wind to change. Oh, and instantly the wind changed. Amen. And then, Amen. then the Lord said, Amen. rain. Remember, Lois? He said, rain and put the fire out. And, and Pastor Jones was looking at me like, <laughs> you know, he, knew he saw his own eyes, but he's like, looking at me. <laughs> like I stepped out the back of the bus in a strange city. Like, you know? and he worked with me for years. He's the one who has a few miracle children that mm -hmm. I saw before they ever had was ever pregnant, and God showed me the three years before to be born and have it just like God said. We've seen all these miracles for years and years of ministry together, but he never had seen the wind, speak to the wind and change in the smoke, fire get put out. Oh, so God. I, I wish I had a photo of his, his uh, face, and Lois could put him on the face of those things. <laughs> what about your ass? <laughs> yeah, I love that stuff up there. Amen. 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 And so, let's go back to the last part of verse 16. The Bible said the effective, and the, the Greek word for that, energio, which is also translated many places in the Bible, uh, working, is something that really works. You want something that works. Most people pray very empty, what they call prayers. They really make a little noise, and they're, they're feeling justified. Uh, many groups in our area have monthly uh, healing meetings. But in most cases, people don't get healed. But they go get prayer. And about any group I know about, whether a Christian or a cult, if you ask for prayer, they will pray something for you. But it's not effective. And so that, that word, excuse <clears throat> me, in the Greek, my smoke right now, in their geo, excuse me. And, and uh, so the effective, fervent prayer, think about fervent. Of a righteous man avails much. And let's chew on this a little bit. Fervent prayer. <laughs> I can't think I can wait. I all morning. Young man walks in while I go, it sounds like a doorbell. And then I was in the, the restroom while I go, somebody ringing the bell. And then, like this one, they found. I mean, while well, they got in the restroom, I had no clue. Oh, I didn't ask them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden. Yeah. I could make some assumptions about one. Yeah. <laughs> Next. <laughs> okay. But the effectual <laughs> fervent, you got to be fervent. Yes. I mean, you know, think about Apostle Paul. What, what did he say? He, he said, Hello, there's one up here for you. <laughs> I there. I don't care. But the effectual fervent prayer, the Apostle Paul said, I, I did not fight as a man that, that beats the air. In other words, he was shadow boxing. We all look good. We get in front of the mirror and bounce around and swing, and we look good in front of the mirror. But when you get in the ring, it's a different story. But Paul said, I'm, I'm not fighting one to beat the air. You know, when he swung, he hit something. So we have to, our prayer has to be fervent. That when we speak it, something should happen. Amen. Think about it. Uh, you know, heaven should know we're praying. The powers of darkness should know we're praying. And, and uh, this is so important. So the fervent prayer, it should be so fervent, of a righteous man availeth much. And you should know that you're righteous for one reason, mm -hmm. because Jesus Christ is righteous. Amen. Uh, it's not by works, lest any man should boast. Uh, our, our good works, are, I do good works because I'm saved. 
I return my tithes to God. I give offering. I, I travel where God sends me because I am saved. But I do not do these things to get saved. Mm -hmm. I am saved. Amen. Therefore, I do good works. Amen. But my good works in themselves, my own righteousness is self-righteousness. <laughs> and so you have to come to a spiritual revelation of, of the righteousness of God that you are righteous because of his blood. Amen. Not because of you, because of his blood. Yes. It's just like uh, Peter in Matthew 16, when Jesus said, who, who do you say I am? Who do men say? Peter blurted out, you're the Christ, the son of the living God. Hallelujah. Jesus said, Sabbath or Jonah, flesh and blood has not revealed that to you, but my father, which is in heaven. Yes. Upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Whatever you shall bind on earth, be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth, be loose in heaven. The, the revelation Peter had was from the Father. Amen. You need a spiritual revelation of the blood of Jesus. I have a whole message on my uh, YouTube channel. It's 180, not 130, like I said last week. Jet and I gradually getting a little bit less and less. Amen. By next week, I'll be taken again. Amen. <laughs> but the thing is, you need a spiritual revelation. I am righteous because he is righteous. Hallelujah. Amen. Not because of my works. And we'll talk about even in prayer in a, in a few moments. But many people, they're, they're praying they do. They, they feel like if I do all this, it's going to make God do something. Uh, some people uh, are reading their Bible. We should read our Bible. We should pray. But there's certain uh, groups in our city that are totally mixed up in doctrine. But you'll see if it made the ladies uh, left in the car when the man goes in low. She's sitting in the car reading her Bible. They'll never, they'll never just be sitting there. Always be reading your Bible and read the Bible over and over and over. But they believe it. And I don't eat pork out of choice. You go to heaven to eat pork. Eat all the pork you want to. You go to heaven. Just get there a little quicker. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But, Amen. But they believe you eat pork, you're going to hell. They, they teach you if you have church on Sunday like we are, you're going to hell. Mm. They totally mixed up. But they're always in the Word. But the word not makes your faith promise nothing. So we can get very religious about studying the word. Mm -hmm. We get very religious about prayer. And go through like the Pharisees. You know, they had the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Remember, Jesus talked about them. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't understand the, the Sadducees. Uh, if you study it out, they do not believe the resurrection. That is why they're sad, you see. Oh. <laughs> they don't have a Bible college. They have to be very much sad. The sad you see the Bible is the resurrection there. That's why they're sad, you see. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> but they had their own prayers. They did all those things. And, and then one time they're praying, Oh, Lord, I'm so glad I'm not like that man there. But God said, I heard his prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. That one on yes. the ground was taken to the ground. The part of nothing at all. Yes. Forgive me. Jeez. I said, I heard that. Yes. And those people are saying, they're looking, look at us. Mm -hmm. you know, look at the long fence we've been on. Look at us. God did not honor that. It is religious. That's right. And so we have to have fervent, effective prayers of a righteous man. A man that knows he is righteous because Jesus is righteous. Amen. Not because of the works of man. Yes, I've shared with this class, I've been on very long fast. Uh, over the years, uh, my fast, I never go on like that again. Two week, three week, 30 day, 40 day fast. Two of the longest ones, I ended up in the mountains by myself, seeking God. You go up on Plateau Mountain with me, where it used to be the lookout point. Now they moved it around some. But I know Chan Jones have been up, other friends have been up with me. We'll go there and pray just a moment, and suddenly oil comes all in your hands. It's silver plates all over your hands. Mm. There, there, there's, a spe there's a special place to me. You know, I, I don't worship it or anything like that, but God met with me right after that. Fire fell from heaven twice. The people argued about the word of God. So don't blame me. I went in either spot. Mm. You know, don't blame me. I mean, listen. Amen. And so the prayer had to be effectual. It had to be fervent. Prayer of a righteous man. And so let's go to Second Chronicles 7.
this guy gave his boy old bow and bar. Yeah, we did. Second Chronicles 7 14. Most of you quoted, I hope. Yeah. But let's look at it a little closer in light of this. Yeah. If my people stop right there, mm -hmm. you're not talking about the rank sinner. Mm -hmm. You're not talking about the drunk out there. You're not talking about the prostitute out there. Unless they're former believers. But if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, humble themselves, Lord, I can't do it alone. Man. You know, I tell you, I've seen over 12,000 miracles worldwide. That's a very conservative figure, as most of you know. And I keep it very low for a reason. But the more I see, the smaller I feel. I don't feel like, oh, look at me. I feel smaller the more I see. Mm. Hugh's back there. Wave your hand, Hugh. Mm. He, he, him and his uh, right. late wife, uh, Linda, was with us twice. I've shared a testimony mm. at Eastern Prison. My security mm. went open. A year apart in, in healing crusades. And both of them, 100%, blind men, grown men, received their sight 100%. They saw it. There's a witness right there. They saw it Praise with God. us. Amen. 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 And then we got locked out there for religious reasons. Amen. Yeah. Uh, someone that was coming to our church had a husband doing life uh, in the prison. He goes, everybody in the prison is innocent. Just ask him. Oh, I really didn't do it. Right. <laughs> you know, but, but the thing is, uh, my, my son got me preached that whatever you sow, you'll reap. If you, if you sow finance, you read finance. It's so good, you read good. And she went back to her husband and said, oh, we don't believe in that stuff. Get away from that church. And he worked at the chaplain's office. He got his board from going to the prison. I wonder how many, I know it's closed now, but I wonder how many men died of cancer in that prison. We had cancer disappear in our hands. Uh, tumors disappeared. Blind eyes opened. And deaf ears unstopping. Off of eyes being healed. Amen. And both of them served a year apart. I wonder how many men died in that prison because of a stinking religious spirit. Think about it. Amen. I had a, a pastor, I preached for a woman pastor in Cambodia. Her, her uncle uh, was the village chief. This arm was just like this, uh, totally withered. I pray for him. That's why it's an instant miracle like I am today. And uh, we kind of like on the sit row when I shared. That's why I was in then. Pray, we drove out. Two hours later, we got a word. His arm just grew up, went right out, healed. Praise God. Praise Trying to go back, and then my friend, uh, Yem Charan, that you met, I said, no, we can't go back. I said, why? They said, a group that doesn't believe the baptism of the Holy Spirit, they don't believe in speaking in tongues, they don't believe in miracles. Obviously, they don't believe in miracles, you don't have the other. Because mm -hmm. Jesus said, you receive power when you get it. If you don't have it, you don't have it. You know, it's just the word of God. And, and I hired her to be one of their pastors, gave her a little bit every month support. <laughs> I said, we don't want any of those tongue-talking miracle workers around here. If she couldn't bring us in or she'd lose her paycheck. Mm. Amen? Amen. Amen? We went to another place in Cambodia <clears throat> with uh, <clears throat> a Vietnamese friend of mine that was my translator in Cambodia. And it, it looked like the Gordon ate a beautiful facility. And uh, the pastor and wife was in the landscape, beautiful. And we talked an hour to that pastor, told him all the miracles we've been seeing on, on that trip and many other trips. And he made a statement at the end. He said, if you come preach that in my church and work on the miracles, you'll mess my church up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I zipped it up. See, I don't cast my pearl before it's flying. Amen. Okay? Amen. 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 And as we drove off, my wife was in the, the vehicle, my, my translator in the vehicle. And I looked at him. I said, if Jesus comes to his church, you're going to mess it up. Yeah. What the man was saying, if you come work miracles, and they get word that those people who support me in America get word, they're going to stop my paycheck. I am not for sale. Amen. I'm Amen. Bought with the price of blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. I've had people right here in the city trying to buy me off. Well, Pastor, if you, you just quit preaching this and this, uh, we'll help you. We're going to build a, help you build a big church. I'm not for sale. Amen. They brought her to their home, sat at their living room, dining room table, try to buy us. I'm not for sale. Thank you. Oh, Amen. Amen. Don't be for sale. Mm -hmm. If you have a price, you'll sell out for it. The devil's mm -hmm. always going to offer it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Remember what it is a relationship, mm -hmm. a job a job change in a four way place to get you away from the people of God you know. 
Everything that glitters is not gold. Amen. If you have a price you'll sell out for, the enemy will always pay it. Mm -hmm. If you have no price, you can't do it. Amen. I'm not for sale. I'm born the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay, so if my people call by my name, a home and self, and pray <clears throat> and seek my face, <clears throat> seek my face, seek in me, mm -hmm. and turn from their wicked ways. You mean I got to repent? You know, several of us is in military here. You and I was, Ernie was, uh, uh, Lou was, I know, um, I don't know if anybody else was a mess, but uh, about face in military means you go another direction. Mm -hmm. Repentance is an about face. Mm -hmm. You know, I once did this, but no longer. I, I was totally bound by alcohol. It was just pretty instantly on deer sand. In, in a moment of time, when I, I hold myself again to weep for God and saw his face, he set me free. Oh, Amen. Amen. And so if we'll humble ourselves, pray. And that pray that that scripture actually literally means petition. It seek my face. It turn their wicked ways. I'll hear from heaven. I'll forgive their sin and heal their land. And that part of prayer means petition. And a lot of people go to God, hear my grocery list. Mm. But remember the Lord's Prayer. Our Father which art in heaven, mm -hmm. hallowed be your name. Yes. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. Forgive us our trespasses. We forgive others. Mm -hmm. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Then he talks about supplying our necessary bread. He did not go straight into the grocery list. Mm -hmm. He builds his relationship. Yes. He builds a relationship. He touches God. As you know, my wife and I tend to hug a lot. Amen. We're 76 years old, man. We, we're still like two little kids. Mm -hmm. Lois said, worried about us on the elevators in, in uh, Asia. A couple of times the elevators opened and we didn't know they were open. We're hugging, kissing each other. <laughs> you know, and, and, uh, you know we, we'll be sitting there on the sofa looking at TV programs or something. Hugging each other. We're very close. But let me tell you something. Uh, <clears throat> I, I don't have a, so got a piece of paper to tell me uh, how long I have to hug her for it to be a real hug. Mm -hmm. It's not the time limit. It's the depth of the relationship. Amen. When we hug, something's connected. Amen. When you go to the Lord, something should connect. But uh, I spent all these hours in prayer. I read the whole Bible every day. Out of the course of line later. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> but, but the thing is, <clears throat> the time limit is not it. How deep did you go in the spirit? Do you know him? The apostle Paul turned the cities upside down. Miracles, raising the dead, testing demons out. He cried out, oh, that I might know him. And the power of the resurrection, the fellowship of his suffering. Amen. He conformed to death in the death of the cross. Think about it. I want to know him. It's got to be a relationship. We've been married 57 years. We're married at 18, 76 years old. I need to get your calculator out. It's okay. <clears throat> Amen. But we're, we're more in love today than we were when we got married. Mm -hmm. We know each other more than ever before. Amen. That's where it should be. Amen. And maybe my marriage force, you should be. Some people have been several times. I'm going to start assisting me when I teach. Here's the last lesson. No, I'm jerking. <laughs> if you don't know what I mean. And so, too many people want answers without relationship. Here's my grocery list, Lord. Do this, do this, do that. Who are you? I don't know who you are. Build a relationship. Let's go to Psalm 91. Do you enjoy this? Yes. Psalm 91. I'd like to push that button behind me. You can. One back there, too, Psalm 91, verse 1 and 2. Thank you, Peter. 
Uh, verse, yeah, one and two. Mm -hmm. Psalm 91, verse one and two. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High <laughs> shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will tell you the Lord, I, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, him I would trust. I want you to think about this. Uh, he that dwells in the secret place of the Most mm -hmm. High. There, there's a place in God that you'll learn to go. I could drop into that rim very quickly. Years ago, there was things going on, confusion, <laughs> extra noise, extra. Down south is extra. You know, we change the oil in our car down south to use the oil. And, and uh, but uh, all this extra confusion going on, I had trouble getting in the spirit realm. But now, to me, years of maturity, I've learned I could just be in the middle of chaos and drop in the spirit and see what God is doing. Mm -hmm. there's a learned thing mm -hmm. but there's a secret place in the most high there's a place you can drop into that only a man and his God meets a very private place you must learn to go there amen and you'd be surprised at changing your life it's real amen you abide in the very shadow of the almighty He's my refuge, my God, in whom I'll tr him and I'll trust. Yes. I can trust in him because I know him. I have a relationship in him. Mm -hmm. Most of my mission trips, except for about five, my wife will go with me. Other times I had to go by myself. Didn't have money for two tickets. Uh, when my dad was uh, elderly before he passed, she was having to take care of him. We brought him a big meal every, every day, a nice dinner every day. He'd be ready to see what we had. Mm -hmm. Amen. But but so that would be half a world away. But see, the way you are when no one can see is who you really are. Mm -hmm. Reputation is what people think you are. Character is who you really are. Yeah. Yeah. And I fully trusted her. She fully trusted me. We didn't even consider anything else. Yeah. Do we have a relationship? I feel I saw two geese by the pond coming out of our property today. We're like them. We made it for life. We're like those geese. Amen. 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 We, we pray. Our prayer is, Lord, take us both home at the same time. You know, now that's his choice. I understand that. But uh, I prefer it that way. Amen. And so, um, had that relationship. Let's go to Romans chapter 4. You need a more scripture. Romans chapter 4. <clears throat> We're still talking about prayer. I'll get down now where the rubber meets the road. And all. A lot of people don't know what to say. When they pray, they, they make noise. I told you I had a man in my church. I pastored 33 years. Uh, I had a man in my church. and Don't call his name. You'll you know who I'm talking about. But his prayer was, Yay, Lord! <laughs> Yay, Lord! <laughs> Yay, Lord! And the Lord said, What? What? <laughs> and I told him how to pray with the seal. Yay, Lord! <laughs> There's the extent of it. Mm. But there was no fruit. Mm. Nothing happened. <laughs> you know, I'm not again hollering, Yay, Lord, but you, you got to know how to, what to say afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Imagine some walk up to your husband or wife. Yay, husband! <laughs> Yay, wife! Walk off not talking to him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Uh, Amen. Wow. Maybe want to talk to you with a rolling pin later. <laughs> I did my marriage class one time teaching. I uh, had five covers and I had my little office before yeah. I got my big one. You know, the wife helped put my, I had one whole wall that was uh, a mural of bamboo. I let it sit there and I'm always praying, look at her like I was out in the jungle somewhere. I loved it. Mm -hmm. Then we sold the property. Mm -hmm. But but um, I was teaching a marriage class. My old all had four or five covers of stuff in there. I said, you know, don't take a baseball bat after your husband. And one of the husbands said, my wife did that. She hit me. And this guy, don't name any name, he, he looked like a football player. He had arms about that big around. I mean, big old muscular guy. And, and later I found out why she hit him. I, I, I was on I her side. <laughs> she had a good reason. But <clears throat> that was funny. <clears throat> so um, Romans 4, verse 17. 
as it is written, I have made you a father of many nations in the presence of him whom he believed. God who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they did. Yes. And so I've taught many of you, you understand, I have a whole message on my YouTube channel called Returning the Word. And also another one called Substance Before Time. I recommend them. But the thing is, <clears throat> God calls the things to be not as though they are. The things that be not yet the natural as though they are because of the supernatural realm they are. Amen. He already healed you. Yes. He already set you free. He already blessed you financially. Yes. But you have to learn how to transfer from the supernatural to the natural realm and do what God does. Call the things that be not yet to the natural as though they are because they are. Mm -hmm. and, and before I ever saw blind eyes open, I was praying, I lay hands on the blind and they see. Mm. For ever saw the lame bleed for joy, I lay hand on the lame they leap. For I saw cancers healed. Thirty-three years, no one ever died in our church of cancer. They were all healed. Oh, this Lord. time in, in Cambodia, we got report after report of people that we prayed for in cancer years ago. We didn't never heard from them again. They all got healed. Oh, yeah. Amen. I, I didn't know it. Oh, they said there are reports of one of the miracles up here while I was gone. I, I'm gonna try to find that Sunday to hear it. About uh, the boy with uh, autism. autism. Yes. The woman came up. I, I remember now. I, I lay hands on her hand. I grabbed her hand. I said, Take these hands. I release that anointing in your hands. Go home and lay hands on him. And she did. And he was healed. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know anything. Yes. I didn't tell Hallelujah. me about it. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's yes. God. Amen. 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 That's God. Oh, yeah. One time we had on our communion service at our church, we didn't have a regular cloth, so we had one of those semi cloths, semi um, wax paper, I don't know what it was, plastic over the communion. If you said, we want we want uh, some kind of cloth to bring our people to pray over and have them healed, so we cut that up after communion in little pieces, prayed over, sent it out, and know it was at work with Bank of America, gave it to friends, and they took it home to people we never even met. They got healed at home. Oh, yeah. It's God. Yes. Amen. 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 And so call the things to be not as though they are. And so begin to learn to pray for the prayer. You'll feel funny. I lay hands on the blind and they see. You'll feel weird. Don't feel weird. God did the same thing. He called the things to be not as though they are. Mm -hmm. But what you're doing, you're transferring it. I could go a little deeper in that. You know, how should they hear without a preacher? How can they preach it said to be sent? Sometimes you have to preach it to yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to, to create yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's going to flush from here to here. Yes. You'll never release faith in your head. Mm -hmm. It's always from your heart. Mm -hmm. Biblical meditation, Joshua 1. Meditate on the word of God. Day and I don't let it depart from your mouth. Biblical meditation. But you'll never release faith in your head. But I, I know all those scriptures. I did two years ago. And hardly anyone ever got healed. Until it flushed my head to my heart. Mm. She said, out of my innermost being will flow rivers of living water. Oh, Amen. Amen. Meditation, revelation, manifestation. Yes. And there's a difference between a manifestation of God and a man infestation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Amen. I learned that from a powerful prophet years ago. It's so true. Amen. 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 Some of them, I think, created themselves. Mm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's move on here. So pray first person. Acts 4, <laughs> verse 29 through 31. I make a motion to remove all cloths from the church. Second. Move after me. Acts chapter 4, verse 29 through 31. Now, Lord, look on their threats and grant to your servants that with all boldness that they may speak your word. They are under persecution. Things are happening. He says, speak your word. Verse 30, by stretching out your hand to heal that signs and wonders may be done through your name, the name of your holy servant, Jesus. And so they're having problems. Uh, they're under persecution. They met in the house and, and they uh, uh, begin to pray, Lord, they, they, they didn't say, Lord, help us do miracles. They didn't say that. Notice, they did not say, Lord, teach you how to do miracles. No. They said, Lord, give us bonus. Yes. 
to speak your word boldly. That signs, wonders, and miracles be done by the name of Jesus. They knew they spoke the word of God boldly. It would happen. Knowing that I was going in Cambodia out, I mean, one time I was in the, I called it the pig truck. They carried pigs in it. A little bit old pick over the cover, and they put pig baskets in it. We rented it. We're all stooped over like this. I couldn't sit up. And uh, I'm going out there, and we got a real rough road, uh, and the, the shops are horrible, and after I got home, if I lay down watching TV, there were two screens, and bad thing, the same channel. I must have had a concussion, boom, 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 like this. But but we never worry. Oh, we're going out there. We're going to stand front of all those Buddhists and tell them, Buddha, no God, Jesus is God. If Jesus don't show up, they're going to kill us. We never worry about that. Mm -hmm. So when you and we go out there boldly proclaim the word of God, signs, wonders, and miracles will take place, and they will believe in Jesus. Yes. I won't go through the whole story. We had one, one place in Cambodia with a thousand Buddhists around us and, and we claimed that 120 was instantly healed. I spoke the word. Knowing I went out, 483 uh, was healed. That day, 680 were baptized in one service <laughs> because they caused all uh, signs, wonders, and miracles. I don't bring dead religion. I'm not religious. Mm -hmm. I have a relationship with Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I mean, every coat you can name, they're religious, but not doing anything. Man, we're, we're in Cambodia. Oh, my goodness. The money they spent on pagodas and, and statues. And they got people starving to death in their, their, their villages. Mm -hmm. They could buy food with that. And they're praying to God that the Bible talked about in the Old Testament. Can I see? Can I speak? Can I hear? Yeah, I might go pray to that wall. Maybe. Or check was on the wall now. This week. Mm -hmm. out on the wall this week. Mm -hmm. Okay, verse 31. We're still in Acts 4. Verse 31. And when they prayed, the place where they were assembled together was shaken. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. And they spoke the word of God with boldness. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit. They already had the baptism of the Holy Spirit. But they got more. Um. A lot of people talk about the ten virgins, five wise, five foolish, and they, they try to preach. Five of them had no oil. That's not true. Read it. They just didn't have enough oil. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yep. And a lot of people in church every Sunday just don't have enough oil. Yeah. And when he comes, they're probably not going. Yeah. I love them too, but that's not my choice. And so the place was shaking. My wife and I have had twice. We lived in the apartment of the church that in our bedroom. And suddenly the whole room started shaking. And I, I, I looked over, I thought she was moving in the bed or something, and shaking the bed. She wasn't moving. I looked over, I had a, a, a big mug, like a big root beer mug of water. And I had the other one I used. And I drink water at night too. <laughs> so I keep getting up. <laughs> I found that there, there's a link there somewhere. <laughs> I just I figured it out. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, but the thing, I looked over on, on my, my big mug of water. Uh, on a little nightstand that wasn't touching the bed, it had waves in it. Yeah. I realized it's supernatural that the place was shaken by the power of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. God still does that today. Amen. And so they prayed for bonus to speak the word of God. Uh, their prayer was a petition. A petition would give us bonus to speak your word. Yes. Some people, when they pray, they, they pray as if they're afraid the devil's going to hear them pray. <laughs> What? No. Come on, I've heard you talk to your kids, your, your spouse. You can't get loud. Amen. Sure. Some people say, but, but Pastor, I'm just not emotional. You know? <laughs> and, and they go to a football game. <laughs> <laughs> and they go to church. Mm. You know, if I put a tack in your chair, you didn't know you sat down, you wouldn't get up to laugh. It is attacking my church. No. You come up. Yeah. <laughs> my wife and I were in the same uh, uh, library class, and somebody was putting tacks in chairs. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I eat peanut butter jelly sandwiches. I had one of my friends, the teacher name was Miss John. Miss Johnson, I smell peanut butter and jelly. I think it's David. <laughs> He's the same guy. He shut the books off his dead. They quit it, David. Oh. <laughs> he did a lot of other things. I won't go into right now. Okay, First Thessalonians 5. Three more. 
Just kidding. First Thessalonians chapter five, verse 16. <laughs> Through verse 22. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 through 22. Mm -hmm. Rejoice always. Amen. Pray without ceasing. I'm going to visit that in a moment. Go back. And everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit. Yes. Do not despise prophecies. Test all things. Hold fast what is good. Abstain from every form of evil. To notice, he said, rejoice always. Anybody ever have a battery in your car go down? What do you do? You recharge it. Mm -hmm. You will rejoice mm -hmm. because you once had joy, mm -hmm. but somehow left. Mm -hmm. The Bible said, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Amen. 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 The Bible also says, with joy, I would draw from the wells of salvation. It's like a ladle. <clears throat> draw forth water. With joy shall I draw from the wells of salvation. Amen. 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 And the word saved in the New Testament is so so means body, soul, spirit, and finances. If you only preach and you want to save your soul, you're preaching 25% of the gospel of Jesus. Mm. Amen. Amen. And that's where most churches stop at. And some of them don't even do that. I had a friend of mine on the other part of New York, he's just joking. You know, the reason the church to obey it gives the people a choice of which seven will take commandments they want to keep. Mm -hmm. You're just joking, thankfully. He's a good man. But uh, rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. What does that mean? That don't mean you walk through the day all, all day long praying out loud on your job. But yet, and there's time to pray out loud, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, but the thing is, uh, you can have your mind on him and be praying. Yeah. Sometimes in the band over in Asia, I was praying in tongues very quietly. And at one time, I, I, I got, I mean, I got walked by the Spirit. I mean, I went in the Spirit realm and I did this Spirit for about an hour. I knew did that in my office the other day. It just something came on me. I just couldn't keep my eyes open again. Boom. It was like a peace. I mean, just, I mean, I hit. But, but the, th the thing is, you, you can have your mind on Him and be thankful and be praying and, and talk to Him. Uh, many times my wife's in my car with me, but she's not. Usually if I go to Albany and back to visit the VA center, I, I, I'm usually about over halfway there. I'm praying in tongues the whole time. Got my tunage going when it works. Uh, I haven't been working too well my music with my tunage. And, and uh, yeah, there's a scripture of song this morning before I got here. I love it. It's all scripture song. Amen. But I'm praying in tongues. So now I'm walking through the hallway over there just praying in tongues quietly. I'm not making it. And then we get in places like Walmart. We pray for people to get healed. But we had the lady right here at Timbrook Commons had a crippled hip. We pray for healing in the parking lot. But we're tuned into the spirit. Mm -hmm. When the spirit thumps and says, go after them, we go after them. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so in everything, give thanks. Have you ever thought about that? Give thank, thank God for what he's done. If there's times in prayer, I'll go back to my my memory for way down in childhood and I started thinking about everything that I know that God did for me and I'll be prepared and I'll start naming it thank you Lord for this thank you for that I mean I was having miracle I mean I'm a miracle I mean I was my mother told through a windshield car broke seven ribs or she said much pregnant for me you know I, I probably should have been killed but God kept me alive a amen uh uh, on and on, God has kept me alive. Uh, they have mm -hmm. a photo of me when I was three years old standing in Houston. They had a freak snowstorm. They took a photo of little, little David, little, little kid, standing in the snow. As soon as I stepped away, the ground blew up. A, a live wire was on the ground. Oh, I should be killed. Jesus. Eight years old, my mother and I went to go over one of the railroad tracks, a big hump, you know, where I was signing right. I was eight, I didn't drive yet. And the car stopped running on the track. Here comes the train. Just before the train hit, the unseen hands for snow. A lot of that's in my book. Yes. I just wrote my first book, Naturally Supernatural. But the thing is, I'll go through in prayer and start naming all these things I can remember God did and thanking him for. Hallelujah. And by the time I get to present day, man, I've got a Holy Spirit buzz on me. Yeah. Amen. And I'm Hallelujah. excited yes. because I've been thanking him for all yes. these things. Hallelujah. Try it sometime. Just try it. Yes. Take Thank a little you, time Jesus. and try it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You did Thank that. You. Lord, that train should kill me. Thank you, Lord. Yes. And Lord, that, that they growing up. 
I had a neighbor that's going to kill us when I was in Bible college, came back. And just before we got back, she planned to kill us. Told neighbor she was a big tragedy take place. Wrote on paper the big tragedy. And she was in witchcraft. God sent a tornado through the woods and lifted up went over the house, mm -hmm. our home, and went down, hit her to kill her. We didn't know anything about it. We didn't work in it's in my book. We didn't we didn't work in the spirit that time. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, God took care of us. Yes. I Amen. I, yeah, I was just gullible, innocent, just coming home. Man, so glad to be home. Our horses and everything. Looking forward to it getting out of Houston. I think I like the big city. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I don't like big cities. Amen. Yeah. I'll go preaching and we get out as quick as I can. Amen. But, but, but the, the thing, the thing is, just think it's the will of God in Christ yes. Jesus for you. Don't quench the Spirit. Verse nineteen. We've been studying a lot in that book. Yeah. Uh, I highly recommend sensitive to the Spirit. I did put it on Facebook. And, and don't quench the Spirit. Let me explain this real quick. You have the Holy Spirit in you. Yes. He said, "I'll never leave you or forsake you." But you can quench the manifestation of the yes. spirit. He will not operate on your behalf That's right. because of what you've done. Amen. 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 You're still saved. You're still going to heaven. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you. I want to do more than go to heaven. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. 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 Praise God. <clears throat> uh, years ago, God sent uh, in a dream. I have a lot of dreams and visions. He sent a man of God that I knew from Houston, a wonderful man of God. Uh, let me see him in a dream. He said, David, to get close to God like you want to, you have to spend four hours a day in prayer and seeking him. But that's for a period of time. Now, I don't know if the man came. It may have been his angel. Uh, there's a whole study on that. Uh, you remember Peter, we got out of prayer. They thought it was his angel. Uh, it is biblical. Uh, it could have been an angel in the form of the man. But it's good advice. It's for, for a long period of time. I prayed four hours a day. We lived in a little mobile home. Three, three little kids, no room. Uh, uh, I had just covered myself up with a blanket right in the middle of the living room floor and spent four hours on that blanket seeking God. And I didn't know how to pray like I do now, like I'm teaching you today. I didn't know how to do it. But I did what God taught me how to do. It. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? But I was seeking God. I was hungry. So I'm not, when people come to me and say, Pastor, how long a day do you pray? I don't answer them. Mm -hmm. I do like when they ask you how, how much your shirt costs. Mm -hmm. One minute closet for years. How much shirt? But one day I don't know anyway. But uh, I tell them, I didn't say. Oh, no, you're busy. I just nicely say, I didn't say. Mm -hmm. But Eddie, how long did you pray? I didn't say. Amen. How many chapters you read today in the Bible? I didn't say. Mm. You know why? So a religious spirit will judge you yeah. by your answer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like when I pastored. Other pastors, the world's work, they come up to you. How many people you run your church? I'd be honest. I said, I'm running about 2,000, but I only caught a few. <laughs> <laughs> but, but they would judge my ability to operate in the power of God. Here I am, blinded eyes popping open, cancer disappearing in my hand, big cancer like this, disappearing in my hand, blind eyes open, deaf ears on solid, lame leave for joy. But if I don't have a big group in my church, must not be spiritual. Mm. The other one not spiritual. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I didn't like to answer those things because they're judging. And you're at a huge church, man, I won't get you my church to preach. But the one that big church may not be able to get your miracle pastor. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Yes. So don't be religious. Mm -hmm. Have a relationship with Jesus. Amen. Let's stand. Amen. We'll go to God in prayer. A few minutes here. I want you to pray fervently. I said some people pray like they pray the devil we're going to hear them pray. Uh, you had the baptism of the Holy Spirit and said that they spoke in other tongues and the Spirit gave them utterance. And utterance is out loud. Yes. Okay? Yes. You know, I, I've heard you talk to your spouse. I've heard you talk to your children. I know you get louder than that. <laughs> Amen. But some of you are just. <clears throat> you know why nothing happened? Let me tell you this. Always remember, never forget this. I learned this from a powerful uh, man of God years ago. The anointing and fervency you pray under is the anointing and fervency you preach under Amen. or teach under. Amen. If all you pray is a little mousy prayer, you're going to teach a Bible study. Cool. Look, there's great knowledge in here. 
I was in here one time, the Spirit of God was moving a mighty way. The powerful message, I just brought forward the power of God moving. And somebody in the class, they're not around, don't worry, you don't know. You may know, but they're not around for ages. Raise your hand. And so I want to tell me about, they study about archaeology in a certain area and want to tell me all about it. Nothing to do with what we're talking about. Wow. And I've been to this person at home, and they have a library of books. Then we had the baptism of the Holy Spirit speaking in tongues yet. Mm -hmm. They're too religious to get it. Mm -hmm. we are, they're thinking it too much. Mm -hmm. The anointing, mm -hmm. the fervency you pray under, is the anointing and fervency you administer under. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I get to that pulpit, everything I am in private is there. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we love you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We pray and worship you. God, I magnify you, Lord. King of kings. Lord of lords. You're the mighty God, the everlasting Father. Let's be the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is strong power. The right to run into their the <laughs> I've had every principality, every power, every ruler of darkness, every spiritual wickedness in high places. Yes. I command every chain to break. I command every and there is none like unto my God. You are the great I am, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are my God in whom I trust, Lord. In Jesus' name. Oh, I bless you, Lord. I bless you, Lord. I give you glory and honor and praise. You said if you be lifted up, draw on men into you. You're lifted up on the cross. But I magnify the Lord before people. I decree who you are. I decree your mighty works for them. I tell them about you, Lord. And I'm lifting you up, Lord. They're seeing a God that is big, a mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Oh, Lord, they see you, Lord, in the mighty God of heaven. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Go and get in the spirit, folks. There's a voice of God calling you to the spirit right now. Go in there any way you have to. What are you doing? You can stand, you can kneel, you can sit. We don't care. But just get in his presence. Oh, Lord, I go to that secret place of the most high right now. So I stir the gifts within me right I may fall through this day, Lord. I command every sickness. Every disease, every spirit of infirmity, every foul spirit of death to flee right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Every every change, every change. Right now, in Jesus' name, I find every religious spirit. Every yes, spirit of being self-righteous, Lord. Every self-righteous spirit. I find it in the name of Jesus right now. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes. In Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
I really urge you, not only in this meeting right now, we're going to pray for people who have needs in a moment, but I urge you, even in your private moment at home later, go to that secret place and ask God, who am I, Lord? Who am I? Yes. What do you see, Lord? Because some of you, God's going to make some adjustments. Amen. I'm a private pilot. Now they have all the fancy things, but when I first learned, we had a map and a compass. Yes. And we looked and seen a, a place in a, a city that's on the wrong side of the plane. We made an adjustment until we're back on course. God will show you things and make adjustments. He'll show you things. Yes. Yes. If there's any spiritual blood clots, He'll show it to you. Yes. To bust those things wide open yes, yes, and let yes, the flow yes, of the precious yes, blood of Jesus yes, flow through you as never before again. Yes, yes. in yes. Jesus' name. Yes, yes. Amen. Anyone needs special prayer? We have yes, chairs up here to come and come up here. We'll pray for you. The only reason we have the chairs is we don't anybody fall down and hurt himself. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh, we don't have that. Yeah. If you need healing, come up here now. Yeah. Don't, don't come up later when yeah. we're picking the chairs up. Come up now. Hallelujah. Amen. You need deliverance. Come up now. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Step right up. Step right up. Here you go. Hallelujah. You'll be the first two chairs. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Full body has run. All my vital organs are free of cancer, but I do have some cancer in my bones. Like right now, as you, as you pray for me, Jesus is going to be no problem. Amen. Yeah. 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 Your language, no problem. It's up and high. It's in me, language, it comes out. English, no problem. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ, the man that I find that foul spirit of death. But right now, I command it out of his body now. In Jesus' name, his foul spirit of death has come out. In Jesus' name, right now, the top of his head, the top of his head, the blood of Jesus flows through him right now. It cleanses everything right now. The bones, the prostate, everything right now. In Jesus' name, we bless Jackie right now. We bless her right now. We bless her right now. In Jesus' name, let her head be a fuck her heart. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Lord, the Patatita, the Rita, the Got any blockages? I release it right now. Turn loose right now. Let the blood flow. Let the nerves operate perfectly. Any nerve problem, any neurology, go now. In Jesus' name, the top of her head, to the sober feet, I command her to be healed. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Yes, she double. Yes, she double. Yes, she 
Thank you, Jesus. You are healed, sister. Okay, what's your name? He's healed. Hamstring reattached perfectly. Yes. 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 I speak the right longer right now. Nodule will disappear. Nodule will disappear right now. God, in, in, in anything of COVID left in his body, we command it out. It will not be long COVID, be no COVID. Amen. Uh, on the top of his head, the COVID tree, I command it to take hold right now. I command the blood to be cleansed right now. Every power bacterial infection from out of his body right now. In Jesus' name, lung cancer. Lungs regenerate right now. Oh, damage done. I reverse now. Brain you. Nodules go. Disappear now. I command you. It's Jesus. The mental prayer I've got to tell you when you pray for me, you command them to be good. That's what Jesus said. Don't pray. Oh, Lord, look at this person. No, no. Command sickness to you. Command cancer to go. Command uh, blind eyes. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Right Thank you, Lord. 